I swear to God, Diesel, you're a horrible parent. You're always grounding me for no specific reason. You just do it just because and I can't take it anymore. It's okay, Mika Super. We're getting a divorce from Diesel anyway. I'm taking you and the girls with me and we are never seeing him again. Goodbye, Diesel. What's up, little kid? What's up, G? What you looking at? Mako Super gets grounded. Bruh, I get so frustrated looking at him get grounded for irrelevant reasons. Like, can you imagine Granddad grounding us for stupid reasons? Well, not exactly. I do remember him grounding us for doing that gunfight when we was young. Yeah, you almost shot me in my eye. You almost shot me in my chest. I should make us do round two right now. Negro, I got two BB pistols upstairs. We can do this Lovin sucker right now. What? Not for real, G. Okay, I thought you was being for real with this. But anyways, Cousin Garcelle is coming over. Word? Yay, you know what this means? What? We get to show her around Plata Town. Oh, this is great, Huey. Hey! We should show her where all the bars we can go to when all of us become over 21. No, Riley. Why not? Because, all of that stuff is too far from this side of Plata Town. And Garcelle is not too much of alcoholic. Oh, okay, well, what we gone do? You is not gone like what I'm boss to tell you. What's up? Uncle Daryl is coming too, and Ida and Granddad wants all three of us to take care of him. Ah. Damn! How long has he gone be here? Three days. Three days? Yes, today, tomorrow and Monday, and he's leaving Tuesday. He ain't sleeping in my room. What you boss to do? I'm boss to go dirty my room up. Ah, oh, I don't want him sleeping in mines either. Here in a few minutes, your grandfather and I are going to be going on our honeymoon. Leave it to me, Ida. I'll have everything under control. Thank you, Huey. I love hearing that. Oh, yeah. You guys are gonna have to go to the store and get Uncle Daryl some soup and crackers. And orange juice. Yes. Any orange juice, right? Only if it's not too sweet. Got you. Riley. Get downstairs, we're about to go. Oh, I was in the kitchen. I was macking some snacks for all four of us to snack on in case we get hungry. Yeah, yeah. Like I always say, you is in charge. Got you, GD. That's probably them right there. Hey, Garcelle. Hi, Auntie Ida. Hi, Robert. Hi, beautiful. Hi, you must be Huey. That's right. Hi, I'm your cousin, Garcelle. And you must be Riley. Yes. Cousin. So, Garcelle, where is Daryl? Ah, he's probably still in the car. I'll be right back. Damn, she looks so cute. Negro, what's wrong with you? Don't hit on your cousin. I'm not hitting on her, I'm just saying she looks cute. Whatever bra, just watch yourself. Man, why are we here? Can we go home? No, we're at Auntie Ida and Robert's house. That's it, we're putting you right to bed. God, you're so grumpy when you're sick. I'm Daryl. These two here are Robert's boys. Say hello. Hey, hey, hey. How long am I staying here? Until Tuesday, we'll be back. Okay. Okay, it's Tuesday. 
Let's go home. Oh, for God's sakes, you need a sleeping pill. Put him in bed like right now. Will do, Grandad. Will it? You and I'll go and have a good time. Thank you, Huey. You guys have fun, Ida. See you later, Ida. Have fun. Boy, you better give me a hug. You ain't gonna see me in three days. Okay, you guys. We'll see you Tuesday. See you guys. We'll call you. See you Tuesday. Have fun. So. So. Yeah, which one of you guys' beds am I sleeping in tonight? Later that day. Okay, Uncle Daryl. The windows closed. Closed the curtains. Fluffed the pillows. Changed the blankets and sheets. I guess you'll be comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Get me a glass of orange juice. I can't get you any more orange juice. That's the last of it right there. Well, that's terrible. Who's been drinking all of it? You have. We ain't got one cup of it. Besides, you've been drinking up all the orange juice for the past six hours. Man, you guys are some horrible ass kids. Y'all won't even go to the kitchen and get a 75-year-old man no orange juice. You see, Uncle Daryl, I'd love to get you more, but I'm too tired. I'll get you some more in the morning. Good night. Idiots. Young people these days just got no class or love for old people. Garcelle. Garcelle. Wake up, it's an emergency. Ah, what's wrong? Stop screaming. What are you screaming for? Where are your clothes? Why are you naked? I can't believe I had to give you my robe. My only good robe. Oh, calm down, baby girl. I'll just give it back. Here. Keep the robe. I don't want it anymore. Good. You already know I ain't wearing nothing. I didn't want to give it back anyway. Do y'all know what time it is? In case y'all don't know, it's 3 a.m. I know. Uncle Daryl woke me up naked. Damn, Uncle T, you sure know how to? Oh, hell no. What? My favorite pair of Adidas. What's wrong with them? I was gonna put those on later. Fine. I'll take them off. Here. I got four words for you, Uncle D. What's that? Keep the damn shoes. I was keeping them anyway. What's going on? Why is everyone up? Uncle Daryl woke me up naked and I had to give him my robe. And he's wearing my shoes. Garcelle? We can buy you a new robe. Riley? They're just one of your Adidas. Quit tripping over some shoes. They're not just any Adidas, they're my favorite Adidas. And for your information, those are the ones I had since I was 12. Uncle Daryl, why are you up? You're supposed to be in bed. For God's sakes, I wet the bed. You did what? I wet the... Don't tell me again, but... Tell me you didn't pee. In the bed. Okay. Let's say I spilled my orange juice in the bed. While I was, um... Sleeping. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You bedwetter. Riley? Get up and go change the sheets. I ain't changing the sheets. You go change them. I'll go change them. Oh no, Garcelle. You don't have to change them. I was gonna get Riley to do it. It's okay. I got it. Well, uh, do you need any help? No. It's okay. Come on, Uncle Daryl. What the hell is wrong with you? Why you have to be so childish? 
Why am I being childish? He's wearing my Adidas I had for a long time and you don't even care. Okay, I'm sorry. Appreciate it. I'm sorry the shoes are not mines. Riley, Garcelle and I've been doing all the work around here. What have you been doing? I made snacks. That's it? Just made snacks? What about major things, like macking his soup, getting him some orange juice, fluffing his pillow, macking the bed, what about stuff like that? Okay you're right, I ain't been doing nothing else. Ha, so you admit it. All because you all upon me about what I'm doing. And I got no choice but to admit it. So you know what you need to start doing tomorrow right? Yay. I'll help for real. Say no cap. No cap. Now that's the Riley I want. I'm glad that's over, don't you think? Yep. I'm just happy he didn't need any help going to the bathroom. Yay, he peed in my kitty cup. Wait a minute, that was the green cup. That was Riley's kitty cup. Speaking of urination, I have to go. Okay. Long day, huh? Gee. Yay, long day. Yeah, I can see that. So now that Uncle D is asleep, what we all gone do? What we gone do? What? We? As in me and Garcelle, gone do, is go see a movie. Great, I'm in this, let's go. You can't go anywhere. Yes I could. No, you can't. Says who? You didn't even bother to come help me and Garcelle with Uncle Daryl. I was gone come help. When? Um. I just was now come on so we don't be late. You don't deserve to go anywhere with us. You didn't come help us with taking care of Uncle Daryl, you don't come hang with us. First of all, who the hell are you to tell me where I can't go? Granddad put me in charge. So I'm running things right now. Yay he put you in charge for major things, not for you to be telling me what to do. This is major, you trying to force yourself to come to the movies with us, and it's not happening. You didn't even bother to come downstairs. Oh so you think you gone and prisonize me again huh, homie? Yeah! Well I'ma kick your ass like a prisoner, what's up? What you wanna do what you wanna do? I'm young Reezy, I'll bust you like a ghetto hood meister samurai like he's still in school. Shut up and sit down. Huey. What's with the tired face? Wake up and get to work. I'd already seen like five customers run out the store with a lot of things in their arms. Sit up and work. Riley what are you doing?
Look at this big mess on the floor, it looks like a jungle over here. Go get a broom, dustpan and a mop and clean this mess up. Now. Let's go. I get that today's Monday and that's the laziest day, but it's not gonna end with you being so tired. Come on. Wake up. Let's work. This is too hard, G. We ought to tell Lucy to let us slide for today. Yeah, all this taken care of Uncle Daryl made me really, really lazy to come to work today. Brawn or cap, but I know you tired as hell still. This morning I caught you brushing your teeth with hair grease. So in the next two to three months, your teeth will have a full teeth of hair. You know something? I don't even think you're tired. Why you assume that? Because, this morning, you didn't look all that tired, you had two different things next to you when you was brushing your teeth. You had Listerine, ketchup and vinegar. So? What's your point? We was brushing our teeth and you was using toothpaste because I was standing next to you. Okay, and? Then when I was coming back to the bathroom with my garland cup, I seen you pretending to gurgle with vinegar. I wasn't pretending, I was being for real. Uh. Huh. Like anyone's gone believe that. Okay, why are you all upon me? I think you're not tired. Please, Negro, according to the last few days of me and Garcelle taking care of Uncle Daryl, you think I ain't tired? Riley, I thought I told you to go sweep that mess two minutes ago. Why isn't it swept? Hey, Huey, are you okay? What's wrong? Lately, we've been taking care of our sick uncle. Really? Yep. Yeah. And we haven't been getting enough sleep. He's been counting us throughout the nights we be asleep. He tells us to get him some soup and orange juice. And boy, it's just so much to explain. Oh boy, sorry to hear that. Well, Huey, you can go ahead and go home. Really? What? I said, Huey, you can go home. Okay, Lucy, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, Huey. Go get some rest. Okay, Lucy, thank you. No problem, leave it to me. Hold up, wait a minute, let me put some fairness in this. He gets to go home, why can't I? Because now we need someone to run the cashier. And that person is you. Well, why can't you do the cashier? Because I'm in the back doing some paperwork and other things, and it's not just a little bit, it's more. When you mean by other things, what exactly are you talking about? Work business. Get to work or you're fired. Whoa, 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 you can't fire me. Robert put me in charge, so I'm running things right now. Now I'm going to say it one more time. Get back to work, or I'm firing you. And what if I don't? What was that? Where's the broom and dustpan? Do we have a gun sitting somewhere? Chill out Lucy, I don't wanna use it on you. Okay, when you guys find him, just send him to 9870 North Drummondacus Street. Okay, thank you very much, have a good day. What's up G? What's up little kid? Where are everybody at? Well Garcelle went to the market, and Uncle Daryl ran away. Word. Word. I just got off the phone with the feds. They said they're looking for him right now. Oh. Cool. Look G. I feel bad about not helping y'all with Uncle D. Granddad and Ida told all three of us to take care of him. And while y'all was doing it, I was upstairs playing video games. And that means if Granddad gives us a reward for doing this? You and Garcelle deserves it more. Not me. Look little kid. At least you was thinking about it. You must have not came down and helped us, but at least you had thoughts about it. That ain't the point brah. Yes it is. You still showed that you cared. So you're not too upset about my behavior, these last few days, are you? Now little kid. So how did work go today? 
pretty good. Except Lucy had to go a little itsy bitsy teeny weeny rough on me at the beginning. Oh damn, why was that? I ain't gonna lie, but I was whining about why I couldn't go home. She told me get to work, or she was gonna fire me. I said and what if I don't? She walked up on me and said, what was that? What you do after that? I got to work. I also wanted to shoot myself. Don't shoot yourself little bro. We still gonna need each other. What? Negro you gay? Riley? Nah I'm kidding G. What goes on home boys? Uncle Daryl? No 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 that Uncle d -reller to you bro. Well excuse me, Uncle d -reller. Where did you shop for all this? Well I just decided to use half of my retirement savings and I went to a clothes store for youngsters and I got me this. And how much was in your savings? Twelve hundred dollars. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna interfere. Uncle Daryl. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm living fresh. Yo, and guess what? Y'all ought to take a look at my shotty. Come on in bay. Hi, Sugar. Hi, Sugar Bear. Hi, Sugar Bunny, Riley. Anyway, look here. I appreciate all the love and support and y'all taking care of me to get me to feel better. I feel good. In fact, I feel straight. Now y'all excuse me I gotta take this beautiful queen to her crib so we can uh, do the thing. The what? The thing. What thing? You know. Oh, the thing. Y'all wanna go home and do the thing? Yeah. Okay, well you and yo little sugar better get to the crib before it gets too late. Yeah, 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 I'll see y'all later. WWW? Wait! Where's Garcelle? Oh, she's at the spa right now. She said she'll see y'all later and she loves y'all. Yeah, we love her too. Yeah, she loves y'all. Peace out, boys. You ready to go? You bet. Oh, my God. Please leave. Please leave. Damn! Hell of a natural. Well anyway, we got the crib back. Finally. 